meditational deities is the main term used for uh, objects of uh, observation for for um, a focus in in tantric theory in Vajrayana Buddhism uh, but meditational deity is a very broad term and uh, under that then there's also many more more um, precise uh, technical uh, uh, types of deities according to different categories now one of one of the the common categories that we find is is called long life deities long life deities they, i mean th what they do is they're they're they have a the focus is for health uh longevity and uh some purification but not the main uh part uh it, it's more for for life extension and and the purpose of this is uh as, as just a model that is attractive to the practitioner, that, that may be suitable in some life-threatening situations, uh, perceived life-threatening situations, um, and, and it can be used as a metaphor that's attractive to a practitioner. There are many, many different types of deities and practices that are intended to be uh, used and to be suitable for different types of people. So it's not one practice for all, it's many practices for many different types of individuals in uh, the practice of, uh, of Vajrayana Buddhism. So, long life deities. We have three main long life deities. There are Amitaya's Buddha, who is a, a form of Amitabha Buddha, but wearing some Bogakaya vestments. Some, this means uh, it's Amitabha. Taba Buddha, but in the appearance of uh, a peaceful deity, wearing a crown, jewelry, earrings, beautiful garments, uh, and uh, youthful. Second is a female, white Tara, and uh, she is white, of course, in color, and, and she's a form of the famous uh, Tara of, uh, of Northern Buddhism and Vajrayana Buddhism. Uh, one face, two arms, but uh, she can have uh, an extra eye on her forehead and then uh, an eye on each of the palms and hands of uh, and soles of the feet. Um, this is one form, but we can also have white Tara for longevity where she does not have these extra eyes. Then we can have some white Taras that are not uh, for long life, they're for other activities, other functions. But within the category of long life deity, we have primarily Amitayas Buddha, white Tara, and then another female deity named called Ushnisha Vijaya. She uh, is believed to be manifested from a ray of light from the Ushnisha of Shakyamuni Buddha. She has three faces and eight arms and uh, is uh, in a seated posture as are White Tara and Amitayas Buddha. Now, these are the three main ones, and we even have a number set. It's, it's called in Tibetan language the three long life deities. Uh, uh, tse, um, it's really Tsela Nam Sum, so it's really three long life. So, uh, But we do have others besides these. Uh, there are more and uh but they become more specialized they become more uh based on different tantric cycles so we can have amaravajra devi amaravajra devi is a, a female a complex deity multiple heads multiple arms out of the chakrasambara tantra we have white chakrasambara we have the shama or the green shadbuja mahakala uh from the shangpakagyu tradition of the of the one face six arm mahakala but then we can have medicine buddha can also be a long life deity and then we can have padmasambhava uh, as a medicine buddha so we can have many many other variations on this and long life it becomes a, a popular theme within uh, uh, vajrayana buddhism